All right, so I thought I would do a, vi a really a series of videos of me actually like studying games and uh, sort of bringing you along for the ride, uh, as it were, in the hopes that it'll show you how you can study, you know, professional Go games as well. Uh, I did uh, already load up a game here. I actually went to Go for Go. You do need an account, I think, to to download the games, um, but it does stay up pretty up to date, um, you know, with with big tournament games and stuff. So it's a useful website. Um, and I just picked a player today. I picked Takamiya um, because, again, traditional or historically, he's been one of my favorite Go players. Uh, you know, just he was he's really one of the first players you know I started to to take an interest in as a Q player, and tried to actively emulate his style when I when I was on my way to Wondon, uh, you know, so many years ago. And so, yeah, I occasionally like to check in and and see what he's doing, see and he's up to his old tricks, that sort of thing. Um, he's not really one of the top top. Uh, players anymore, although he has sort of reached the top twice uh, in his lifetime, which is uh, pretty cool. But anyway, in this game, uh, so here, let's just review the game together, basically, and I'm not, I'm not going to make this into like a really full in-depth review, um, but I'm just going to show you the process for what I'm thinking about when I'm reviewing the game. So Takami is white. Usually the first about three or four moves I don't think too much about unless there's something really strange. And then once we get to this point, I try to start predicting the moves of the opponent, or the player, to, you know, either one, just predicting all the moves. And so for here, um, you know, I would expect Black to play down here. That would be the very traditional sh uh, Shusaku <coughs> opening. <coughs> oh, pardon me. 4-4, uh, four, four, that's fine. Again, the, the Shusaku opening would be three three fours, but this is also perfectly reasonable. Uh, and at this point, I would expect White to either approach this corner or potentially follow up over here, but I think approaching this corner is going to be more normal. There we are. All right, so if you're black, what do you do? Uh, I actually don't know Hirotaka at all. Uh, Sano Hirotaka, I guess Sano, Sano uh, would be um, his family name. Uh, I would anticipate black basically just taking points. I don't see a reason for black to build anything large yet. Uh, black theoretically could attack this too. That'd be a way, that's a, that's a way to build points. Um, yeah, maybe pincer. I don't know. There's so many choices. So many choices. I don't really have a prediction. I'll just I'll I'll predict here just just for the the sake of the game. Nope, completely wrong. <laughs> and in fact, we're going to pincer this one, uh, which I did not foresee. All right, here I'm going to assume. Let's let's pretend that we're Takamiya, and he's feeling like he wants to play the outside today. He did start with four four. So I'm going to predict 0-15 as the Joseki continuation. And there we go. And I haven't seen this game before. So, I mean, if I do predict these right, I'm actually getting them right. You should be happy for me. You shouldn't be like, he's already seen the game before. Nope, never seen this game. This game was actually just played like two days ago. Uh, and nor did I open. I just, when I had the file already loaded, that's how you saw it. So we're going, we're legitimately going through this together. Oh, I, I clicked too fast. I meant to uh, to predict the next move together. Yep, next white should continue the Joseki here. Oh, all right. <laughs> not not a thing. Okay, so why would white not be content with just playing out this Joseki first? Mm. I, I mean, this is Joseki too, so it's really actually not that um, hard to f not that big of a question. Uh, black honey? Nope. Black peeps. Yep. Expose the cut. All right. So actually, this is a very territorial Joseki in the end for white, even though white decided to come out and separate. Uh, we're going to do this sort of fighting sequence. And white, this this group, right, as of right now, is alive in the corner, so white only has to look out for these two stones. All right, I would expect to move uh, around here, possibly here, one of these two points for black. Nope, wrong again. Okay. Uh, this does threaten the corner, so... Not really, though, because white can just push here and always make two eyes. Hmm. Um, does white respond? I think white will respond out here. Nope, white's going to push immediately. Okay. And come down. All right, now black will play over here. Yes. Hmm. Um, all right. So just, just my own reasoning for this is... White will jump out on one side and then and then attack on the other. 
I feel like white will, will is currently wanting. Well, white kind of wants to attack this more because it helps out this stone. Um, if white if white gets to play the next move on this side, um, but this group already has a little bit more of a base and has Sente moves against the corner, kind of. So I'm I'm thinking white's going to jump this way and attack and then come back and attack over here. Nope, completely wrong. White's going to jump that way and then attack over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say white's going to play here, but it probably is there. Yep. Again, I was thinking, you know, why I thought white would initially play here is just to try to uh, control the outside, just stay on the outside and not get um, sunk into all these little corners and side groups where Takami usually doesn't want to be. Although, you know, it should be said that, that he hasn't really played his, like, truly cosmic style in a while. Um, he's become much more territorial uh, as he progresses in his, his age and his playing. All right, move for black. Uh, feels like, this feels like an attachment. But maybe black plays this first and maybe then tries to make white over-concentrated. Uh, furthermore, yeah, I don't, I don't, black would really love to get another move in here, but I don't see black having time to do that. I'm going to say attachment. Okay, similar, but different. Uh, when we play this one, we're just going to attack this more directly. Um, the nice thing about playing the attachment is it more or less gives us Sente to come back and attack this severely. Um, this move nicely, you know, from a distance attacks this and threatens to split later. Oh, right, I was supposed to predict the move. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing that happens when <laughs> I recap <laughs> my logic for something. All right, well, next move is hard, though. As black, I really want this move, just because white shape is kind of left. Mm. Should not have just had lunch before recording this video, apparently, because uh, white white will be a little bit over-concentrated and the shape will be a little suspect but it might be too greedy. Uh, this is also a big move. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with a black play down here. Nope, just directly pressure first, okay. Yep. Uh, white will jump, or can white peep? Hmm. Actually, I don't really think black can seal white in with one more move because of this thinness here and the thinness that will end up being over here. So it seems plausible that white could take this outside move before he has to respond here. We'll see. Okay. Just respond. Stay safe. Um, black should now play a move over here. Oh, can he just go fourth line? Yep, keeping making sure that this stone is split. Leaves a lot of thinness underneath, though. Hmm. Uh, maybe white will actually just respond by jumping out here. Again, giving this another avenue to connect to as well as building. Fourth line territory? Nope. Okay. So here, 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 I think so far my... Uh, my view of the game so far, the thing that I've mostly gotten wrong, is that these two players are considering this black group to be a lot weaker than I am. And I suppose that's true, because black never really properly answered this white move. Uh, you know, maybe I'm thinking about it wrong, but I'm, I'm sort of thinking that black has sente moves on either side here. But maybe that's not really the case. All right, so if this group is weaker, What's the next black play? This is still big. Approaching over here is actually quite big now, too. I kind of like this approach. But, again, maybe black isn't strong enough. Um, so I guess this attach is also possible. This a center point. Okay. Is one of my options. Yep, this white response is a little bit tricky uh, because whatever white does, white really doesn't want to give black a bunch of solid thickness on the outside. 
Uh, although that's sort of looking like how it's going to go. Um, this attach does get white kind of the direction that white wants, but the problem is it gives up a lot of black points and a lot of black strength. So as white, what would I do here? I, 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 I think I'd still be hard pressed not to, I, I think the attach is the best direction. Nice. So don't you just feel good <laughs> when reviewing a pro game and you can anticipate their move? I'm going to assume black's going to continue to play out Joseki, so Hana here. And I'm going to assume white's going to play this Joseki. Uh, but could bail, but I'm going to, I'm going to assume here is a no-brainer. Because if you're going to pick this direction, this is, this is the relationship you're trying to make. Basically, if white can get these two, the corner group connected to the weak center group, then uh, black is the only with a weak group on the board. Even though white's down in points, uh, white still gets Comey and will have something of an attack or at least annoying sequence on this group. Uh, black have any reason to take the corner or just make a group? I think making a group here is fine, so I think black will just play C15. Of course, this is now a problem, though. <laughs> we got the direction we wanted. We're giving up a lot as white. And white can't really see 16 and expect a really good result. I mean, this will keep some of the points as white, but... Oh, no, I think we can. I think we can. I, don't, I, don't, I think it's too hard for black to cut, actually. Um, because this group is weak, but it's not game over kind of weak. So let's go see 16. All right. Can black push right now? Should black push right now? Normally, if black pushes right now in this type of situation, white would probably just extend. Um, but I could actually see white actually fighting here. I'm going to assume black makes an extension over here. Oh. All right. So that's a thing. Yeah, you know, black is sick of white trying to establish this connection here. All right, this is a big move. This e17 makes the corner super solid, but then again, so is anything out here. Oh, at this point, I really have no idea. I really don't know. I I might even, you know, play a stone like d11 with the intent of giving it up but just basically trying to annoy black shape enough such that I can get a couple moves on the outside. It's really, this is a really hard, hard fighting kind of move. Um, but at the same time, this, the, this connection right here just got really thin really quickly. So I don't know what to do. Really don't like just pushing out. We're not quite strong enough to like counter peep. Hmm. I should have made more tea before starting this video. This would be a great moment right now just to sip on some tea and think about it. All right, let's I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go get tea. <clears throat> I got to get more centered, I think. Ugh. All right. So I got tea. It didn't really help me come up with a move, though. Mm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go all out and go d11, and just throw the board in, a in confusion. It's the kind of thing that requires a lot of reading. Nope, just a really nice and simple e17. All right. Well, it was on my radar, as the simple way. Um, really big. I guess it also opens up points like here, here, and here. These attachments all become very possible now. All right, but black now has the momentum. So how does black use it? Well, I guess, no, actually, actually the nice thing about this move is it does open up this these annoying sequences. I mean, black has to be more cautious than I anticipated.
Hmm. We have any play to seal in at E13? F18 might also be a possibility, or a move around there. G18, maybe. Not really Sente, but... Or maybe just G17, actually, is better. It's worth a lot of points. Keeps Actually, actually it does keep the pressure on white, because white will have fewer defects to take advantage of. Hmm. But, of course, if E13 works, that'd be quite a nice move. But, let's say E13. Nope, we're just going to attack directly. All right. Yep. Hmm. All right, everybody's thin. I hate, I hate it when everybody has thin shapes. I mean, this is a good strategy if you're playing against a weaker player. Because the weaker player will invariably poke at some of that thinness, but do it to least efficiency, or gain least, least the least efficient way to use all these weaknesses. But look, we have weaknesses here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And technically we still have the one over here, too. These two black stones, or three black stones, are not... Super settled. I mean, they're not dead, but right now, but they're not. They really need another move before they feel comfortable. Uh, if white just pokes here, that's gonna set off a sequence where black will most likely cut through. All right, this is it. White's got to prepare. White's white's got to do a move that threatens something as well as starts to threaten this cut. Maybe this. Maybe G13. Hmm. Can I play on this board? Yeah, there we go. Like, this is the kind of move that... Whew, tough move. I, like, I almost like... I mean, I mean, instinctually, I like my move better than Takamiya's move here. But I have, the question is, I have no idea how this goes after this. Right, this is just... Who knows? Actually, this doesn't really doesn't look that good for uh, for white. This looks like a disaster. <laughs> uh, unless white plays here, still looks like a disaster. All right. Well, let's go back to the game. Yeah. But so white white's again trying to fix the shape, threaten something, and that'll allow us to start taking advantage of the weaknesses on this side if we just get a little bit stronger. Okay, black. What are we gonna do? I mean, this feels like a natural move, but I also play here. Oh, we're going to play that way. Okay. I guess this way actually is better because it let the follow-up is at H13, so that exposes the cut again. Or if we play here, uh, the cut would be at H12. Or, J, sorry, the cut would be at J13 this way. The other way, the cut is at, at um, H12, which is not nearly as threatening. And plus, this helps fix some of Black's defects on the top from this peep attachment crap. All right, I supposed to predict a move. Damn it! Hit the key. Hit the key too early. Uh, I I have to assume Black's going to take a point over here. Maybe D11, or maybe just even C12. That might be too slow. I'm not sure what the point is, but pretty sure Black needs to play a move here. Nope, now is the point. Black decides to come back and take this this big territorial move. Hmm. Interesting timing. Uh, I assume there's White just pulls it back here and settles. Pull back. No real reason to play this one. So just pull back. Uh, white will probably descend here and give black the forcing moves on the outside. But locally, that's best for white. Uh, black will probably play O4 now. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Yep. Make sure black's safe while white is still sort of responding over here. 
Hmm. I guess come up. Yep, that exposes the this cut later on a if black blocks Atari cut kind of sequence. Still expecting black to come back here though. Oh, all right, black's gonna take away that sequence right away. Um, I guess you have to connect, huh? If you if you're gonna play this now. Nope, you really don't. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So black wants to expose this while trying to get stronger on the outside. All this stuff actually ended up making white quite a bit stronger here. Um, because now the white, even even though black got what black wanted, which was to basically limit the potential for white to nothing, um, there's no more, you know, invasions later. Right, we just decided we're going to make white into a really small, safe group. Has to be pulled back, right? It's the only shape that works. Well, no, I guess that one does too. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem as good. Oh, right, right, but this has an actual effect over here. So more active way of, of defending instead of just this. This this really just says one thing. I'm just making a super solid shape. This also almost makes eyes. It probably makes two and two half eyes. This probably just makes ends up with you getting an eye at least whenever you need it. Uh, this black honey now probably not. So what's a black move? Still a big move over here. I'm gonna continue. Now do we pull back? Nope. Don't need to, I guess. All right, but now now white played this d11 move that I thought was so much more exciting earlier. It's still exciting now. Hmm. How does black deal with that? Bumping it is not great, but not out of the question. Let's say we bump. Nope. Okay, we're just going to settle. We're going to let white connect on the outside, it looks like. Mm, any variation? Uh, this is this, this honey is greedy, but it's probably correct. The safe move, of course, is to play this first, but it gives black uh, an easy settling. So I think I think you have to play this. Um, black can still bump this actually, even here. And that looks actually a lot better than pulling back, so I'm going to assume black does. Nope, black's going to crosscut. Okay. Uh, yeah, I should have thought of that as an also, uh, alternative variation. Hmm. All right, if white just defends this stone, black will just get the outside and this white group will be under attack again. I don't know. If we, ju if we just want this, white can, of course, just push through here and connect. But it really doesn't look good enough. I mean, if we have to make use of this stone somehow. Um, is there any variation where white can actually fight here? Maybe white can, white can just fight. I mean, white does pull back and make an eye immediately and threaten to make another one. But yeah, it feels like this is also just sent black and pop these eyes out in Sente too. All right, let's assume white's going to fight. Let's pull back here. Nope, <laughs> white's just going to ensure the connection. Okay, and then connect. Oh. Hmm. So if white connects, I'm assuming it's going to go something like this. Hmm, but it doesn't really look like... I guess black would take this in Sente. Yeah, black would take this Atari first. And then come back and live. Uh, and then white would have to effectively run this out if white wants any sort of reasonable result. But there's still this Aji here. Mm. Yeah, 
I guess that's really not good enough for white. Okay, so we're again, we're just leaning on black and trying to help the middle. Black just defends. So how aggressive does white want to be with the stone? Really not really wild about being really aggressive with all these defects. So what's the best way to use this stone without just making it live or trying to trying to get committed to making it live? I do not know. I have no idea. Maybe here. C8. Hmm. So I guess after white gets all this, white figures he is strong enough to come back and play the follow-up. Because he again he played this stone here. And black didn't respond. He also got this stone to help this group. Hmm. And it sure looks like black needs a response, otherwise we'll suffer greatly. So what's the response? Mm. This is terrible shape, but maybe just G seventeen is or J seventeen is good enough, or H seventeen. Hmm. Similar. Not really sure what the difference is. Okay. Oh, I clicked. I didn't mean to click. All right, we all saw it though. White's gonna. Um. Of course, of course. There's a ladder. There's no sun over here. Right. White doesn't have to run that out. White can just ladder that. Although actually, the ladder has some AG problems if white is worried about this connection. So the ladder has problems. <laughs> uh, I bet you black doesn't just want to play a move here in exchange for the ladder. Does this work? Can we just attach here? Probably not. White just connects. Black is probably too thin. Hmm. I don't think black will play a direct ladder breaker. I think black needs to threaten this somehow first, make white committed, and then have the next the follow up be the ladder breaker. I don't know what the point is though. I have no idea what the point. Maybe again black just builds something. This would be a big move. This is still a big move. Yeah, I'm going to say black tanukis. Nope, of course not. <laughs> this one just breaks the ladder. This is the yeah, direct ladder breaker, so I was wrong about that. But uh, I think white has to take, right? How bad is it if we just take? Yeah, kind of bad. So big, though. Nope, we're gonna get us to safety. All right, well, I can read better than I can. So, any variation where we can run this out immediately? Or do we have another play to cut here? Probably not, doesn't look very uh, cuttable. All right, let's run it out. Nope, not gonna run it out. Uh, I'm not sure why this exchange is happening. Run it out now? There. Okay, so we're just making that exchange before this happens. Oh, man. How does white deal with this? Giving up these two stones is huge. Maybe just connect. I don't know if I don't know how badly this disconnects, but um, I don't know. No, nope, we're gonna give it up. Okay, and try to counterattack. This is this is what I thought would happen, but it just doesn't look like it's good for white. Like, look at all these points that are forming for black. 
All right, so now what? How do we get in? Bush again. Can we Tanuki here? We'd be totally fine at Tanuki, it seems, if we had this one white move, but we don't have that move. But we're going to Tanuki anyway. Black should block this way. And Hane, any reason to play this? Nope. Just play normal. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Oh, I assume White was just going to play there. But no, White's going to play this, make this exchange first. It's Sente, that's fine. Uh, come back here now? Nope, oh, more Sente, okay. Now come back here? Oh, no, that didn't go Tate for White. Unless this is killable. It might be killable. So black's gonna peep. Mm, I'm going to a. Oh man, because we could actually cut this off. White could play here, like this, and after this black cut, uh, white will be on the outside and safe. Even though we gave up, you know, a few points, black still might owe us a move over here. So that's clearly not the game, though. So what is the game? Here, and then... Uh, what did I do? Oh, I played there. So white just connects here. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Can white kill black? Like, this is, this is you know, your 9 dawn professional reading problem. How to kill black. And you have to do this, you have to figure out this problem as the black player, not the white player, right? And if black figures out that the answer is yes, it is killable, black needs to continue playing. Of course, if black says no, it's not killable, then it becomes a reading problem for white. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's not killable. Like, it's it's hard. Like, white can get these two stones. Let's see. Well, although black really doesn't want to lose these two stones either. I guess that's why he plays this. Maybe he plays another move in here? I don't know. I give up. I get this one wrong. Okay, black said it's killable. And now white has to decide if these stones are important. I'm going to say no and assume that white's going to come back to the bottom left. Nope, we're going to play some endgame. All right. Uh, huh. Well, this is interesting. That's a false eye. But white needs a move here, and then black can make an additional eye. So black is alive. Interesting. Oh, yeah, save the stones. Although that provokes this, so I'm not sure why that's good, actually. <laughs> I guess if you, if you just want to save them, this is the proper way to save Oh, it's save them in Incente. That's Atari. Ah, I see now. Right. And that leaves only one eye here. So. Mm, can't really poke it. <laughs> Can't really poke it. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, this is all connected. I think. It seems like no matter where black plays in here, white can connect and give up one of the stones. Of course, you don't really want to give up that one per se if it gives black an eye. Although it should only be half an eye. So is black cut here? Or is it Tanuki? It looks, it looks like, oh, there's this move. There is this move to cut. And, no, he needs to just cut directly. Cut directly. Yep, okay. Um, Black could make an exchange over here first. 
but it's no, I'll actually just live. Oh, make this exchange first. Okay. Yep. Mm, any other exchanges? I think just live. Okay. Black's alive with three points. Now white returns here. More here. Probably here. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Is it big enough? Still a little evaluation of score here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. So black's in the 50s for points. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, right now white's only in the forties. <laughs> hmm. This is very, very big. <laughs> There's no other territory on the board that competes with that. Hmm. I think black next. Like, oh. All right. Uh, white can connect here, or white can take here. Both are good. I think connecting here is better. Just connect. Nope, okay, we're not going to connect. We're going to take here then, if we're going to play this Atari. Yep. All right, and take. Yep, this is all pretty much forced. I guess black should just defend here. Okay. Maybe that's slightly better. It has less Aji when this moves out. I'm, I, I'm not, I mean, I'm not convinced this is the correct direction, but apparently... It is, because <laughs> Tuck Me is a lot stronger than I am. Like, a lot, a lot. Oh, right, now oh, so I should have thought about the next move more. Yep, come on down here, annoy the corner, I'll try to reduce and or build something on the bottom. Uh, just keep going, huh? Yep. Mm. Maybe just Pane there? That's a weird move, but I think it's fine. Okay, make a base. Yeah, I was planning on making one more exchange than making a base, but maybe this liberty is really useful. And actually, it gives white potential to seal in. And I said, ah, damn it, I moved the thing again without figuring out the move. This is the other thing. The further you get along in these pro games, um, I tend to do that. That's pretty normal, <laughs> where I tend to be less interested in predicting every move and just seeing what happens, you know, seeing what actually happens to the players and how they deal with it. Well, that's one way to sort of uh, link up all this and remove this Aji. So white could, uh, white's actually not linked up entirely yet. Right? Right. Because all black needs to do is play there to disconnect. So this is actually quite a nice move. Because that Aji makes points. Basically is forcing against the white group. Um, and it also actually opens up the uh, for black to either attach or approach these stones here while making points, too. Very solid, very active move. Affects a lot of things. Oh, is white just capture? I bet white just plays here. Hmm. So that makes white, technically is that one eye? Because it's either half eye there or half eye there, I think. Uh, if I was black, I'd probably just attach here. Hmm. Coming underneath, okay. Yeah, just digging in even further. Yep, yeah, you have all this outside so you can let white run. Cool. Yep, that's better than my move. 
Hmm. Just come up, I think. Hmm. No, oh, better, yeah. Yep, better. Uh, block. Hmm. Yep, that's... Can't, well, I can't really push through. Is there a cheesy throw-in kind of thing here at R2? Just come on up. Just come up. Nope, black's just gonna live. White's gonna live. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to continue annoying. All right, annoy that way. Wow. Hmm. White's in the run with only one eye. Needs to find a second eye in here. Yeah, black's almost going to turn this into... 15 points. Whoa, we can run this out? Well, I guess after these two stones, we kind of can. Uh, this is not the game move, I'm just playing these. Can we do this type of thing? Looks like it. Hmm. Neat. So the game is black plays there. Yep. And I presume black plays here? Oh, I don't take this one first, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Black takes. No thinking, right? Oh, what does white do? Oh, black. Oh, white just lives. Yeah, the co is actually, I mean, black can live anytime, I guess. This is not really a real co. It's like a, it's like a multi-step co for everyone. So white's content. Oh, but they're going to keep fighting it. Oh, right, because white's not alive either. That's only still one eye. Yep, so now black plays there as a threat. Um, I have no idea what white's threat should be. Like none. Like just nothing. No idea. I would just live. I see. Capture that stone. That's, yeah. That's good. I was thinking White had to respond there, but he, that's not a very good threat. You know. I guess it is a threat to live. If someone's trying to kill you and you're just trying to live, that's a pretty good threat. Uh, black connects, I presume. Or, yeah, that way works as well. A little bit better. Oh man, white, does white just live and just give this up? This is feeling pretty downhill for white. Oh uh, yeah, white can do all this. Oh, hmm, interesting. Oh right, 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 right. This doesn't, does this work? It doesn't actually work, right? Because this is double Atari. Huh. All right, so actually, yeah, black has to just let white connect. All right, there's your threat. Oh, that's not even a threat. We still haven't taken the co. Now do we take the co? We're gaining. It feels like we're just doing this just to get more threats. Oh, this is nice though. Yeah, I didn't realize how short of liberties these five stones are. Good sequence. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. So this becomes like a real co now. Like four reels, massive co. That was amazing. I guess I should have noticed the weakness there earlier. So here it's like black, black really can't hang on to this without this reverting back to such a dangerous co. Because when black has to defend over here, now we have these four stones with no friends. These three stones. Black, black's going to play here, right? Is there any other possibility? I don't think there's any other moves. I think you just play there. Oh. Interesting. Um, 
Does this work? <laughs> oh, White still only has one eye. All right, interesting. Okay. Wow, this, is, this doesn't go like huge co. It's black and a black. I think black has to play this, but can black actually connect? It doesn't feel like black can connect if black plays this. Uh, it doesn't look like it works. Right? That's what the game happened. And we have this move or this move. Let's just play this move. That's not what happened in the game. I just want to know if it works. There's double Atari, but white don't care. There is this push, but again, white doesn't really care. Mm, we have this Atari, though. That doesn't do anything. Or does it? Does it allow us? Nope, that doesn't do anything. Alright, so what happened in the game? Alright, so here, here, here. In the game, oh, white just played here. Yep. Oh, no, that's not, that's what I, what? That's not the game. Uh, is it resign? Did I, like, is it just resign? <laughs> here, I'm going to just re refresh the page just to make sure that I didn't screw something up here. Because uh, it's kind of weird when you use this viewer. I'm using the IdaGo viewer. All right, that's it. That's resign. Yeah. All right. So anyway, hopefully as you were able to tell, like for me, studying a game is not just clicking through the moves, but really just trying to figure out where the next move is. And then when something doesn't quite match up with my expectations, try to figure out why. And also during, during most of my reviews, of course, I, I tend to focus more on the early, middle, or even just beginning of the game, where I dedicate more time. Um, because of course, you know, you can have these end game sequence, sequences that are really cool and really brilliant, right? There's just this Audrey here, right? There's just this 20 move sequence. It's really not a hard read. Like I, I'm, I'm at the level where I can read this and figure this out for the most part, um, given time and concentration. Uh, but yeah, this, I mean, this is where the game was won <laughs> because before this, it's not entirely clear what the status of white is. White should be able to live, but whether or not it's enough points is another question. Although actually from this point, the end game should be good for white because white has this, white has this, white has Sente over here. There should be monkey jump or some sort of Sente jump down here. Um, this, assuming white's alive here, should be able to be pressed in on two sides. So even though, you know, I counted black up by maybe 10 points earlier, it, black wasn't getting any more points. So it looked like all the end game was belonging to white. So neat, 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 neat. Yeah, this is just kablam. <laughs> Dirty, super dirty. White just <laughs> chopped off half of black character and ate it for himself. Game is over. So anyway, often when I'm done reviewing, I'll just go, I'll just click through the moves really fast and just go back and uh, look again. I guess that is Joseki. I think this is Joseki now that I think about this. I think I have seen this type of thing before. Um, yep. Both players eagerly trying to get on top of each other. Playing outside. And I did predict this move, but I didn't realize actually how good it was against this black group. Or how useful it was. I guess I should have instinctually known that a lot better. And yeah, this is the game right here. How does white deal with this? And for the longest time, it looked like black got the better deal. Because black just got all these, uh, you know, white was just playing move after move after move after move after move in the middle that weren't getting points. They were just making sure that group was safe. So I really like how black attacked it. And then white had to give this up. So painful. It's so painful. All right, so anyway, I hope that you know, when you review professional games, you will sort of treat it the same way. Uh, I do want to do this as a series, so I'll probably actually uh, take a little break, and maybe I'll do another one later. Um, and 
yeah, we'll see if you guys like this type of review, where it's really just me talking to myself, and I'm more reviewing it for me, per se. Um, right, if I was reviewing it for students, I would be talking about the merits of each move, like I would be explaining the moves a lot more, um, where for, for me, I'm putting more effort into, into actually just predicting the next move. And then if I'm wrong, just trying to find the difference. Um, but if you like this kind of review, do give this a like, do leave a comment. Um, I have to think of what Go player I want to do next. I'll, uh, I'll think about that and maybe come back and record another one in a little while. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>